You finished uh, as a civil engineer, so what happened yeah. then? Well, the, the decision to go self-employed didn't happen at the time. It, I, became, I mean, if I just go back a few years, uh, at the end of my PhD, I actually started to, I mean, I was reading personal development from the age of 18 years of age, and I picked up a book called Dianetics, which is, I think Ron Hubbard wrote, wrote the original book, and I don't know how I got, came across that, but at 18 years of age, I was reading personal development all the way through my degree and my PhD. I was actually going into libraries and reading, even at that young age, personal development books but by the time I hit my career with a PhD in my hand my lunch breaks were spent literally every break either listening to audio tapes reading we didn't have magazines like best you in those days so you had to go around and scrabble for, I mean what you produce is amazing we didn't have that so I had to go and find that from bookshops and I realized looking at people older than me none of them were doing any sort of personal development whatsoever the only development they were doing was career based around engineering mm. but there was redundancies in the loom. I saw people being dragged up to the boardroom, being escorted off site, and then having to be brought back onto site after 10 years of working for the company and being removed with all their, they weren't allowed to go to their desks. And that, I got a wake up call and I really got my head down. I did, I got, I did, I got involved with a network marketing business for a while. And although that business didn't take up for me personally, what I took from it was the personal development. I started attending seminars. And I realized very quickly I wasn't going to stay in this career. I wanted to get out. I wanted to be self-employed, as, as Robert Kim Kiyosaki would say. I wanted to move from the E to the S quadrant. And that was my, my catapult. And I, I completely ignored the fact that all of the people that are older than me were saying, you're too young, you need to be at least 15, 20 years in the career. They're not going to take you seriously. I had one thing that other people didn't have. I had a passion for helping other people. And I had a PhD, which was in the top probably five people in the world at what I knew. And that was niche enough for me to break into self-employment. I knew nothing about starting a business, but I had the passion to do it. And that was the most important thing for me at the time. And when, Early 30s I was at the time.